Good morning, welcome to another video. Today, we're doing a little bit of bike prep. Uh, we've already been on Zwift this morning, we've done the Aussie Crit Crushers. Uh, two races, back to back, both four laps each. One is Downtown Dolphin, and the other is LaGuardia Loop. Um, let's have a little quick look at how we got on. So then yeah, today, as I say, we're doing a little bit of bike prep. So, we have our Vector 3 pedals which need to be fixed. There's a, there's an error apparently inside the uh, casing uh, which holds the battery. So, um, Garmin have sent us a couple of kits. So we need to get the, the pedals off, get the spindles out and uh, replace those little bits. Um, and hopefully that fixes the problem. So, let's crack on. Let's get the pedals off. Okay, so, there's our old pedal. Here's the new kit. So the kit comes with a couple of little washers and uh, new screws. Comes with a screwdriver. Again, another couple of little uh, uh, housing bands. And then as you can see from here, so what they've done is they've redesigned the connections on the uh, the battery board and they've redone the connections here as well so four mil allen key they should never be uh, over tightened so we'll keep our two batteries you can see the difference. So we put the old one to the side and then inside the spindle, tiny little screws. 
Now top tip here, you've got to hold on to your spindle on the other side because otherwise it will just spin round and you won't be able to get any traction on those screws. There we go, the old battery board comes out, so we'll get rid of that. So, new one going in. Best idea, whoops, is to pop your screws into your battery board holder already because they are very fiddly. There we go, slot them into the holes and then just drop that in there. Like that, screw them back up. Now, BB oil, mirror oil, whatever you want to call it, toothpick, and what you want to do is just put a little bit of oil on the contacts for the battery board, on the other side, and the reason you're putting a little bit of oil is because the battery can do what's called fretting, and fretting happens when there's little bits of contact and the battery can move the battery can rub together and you can end up with a little bit of uh, corrosion. You don't need to put too much on, just a little, a little light coating. And then we're going to put this back into our pedal. Now this part here I always find the hardest. That screw in lined up properly. By the looks of it, we've actually done it first time. Fantastic, there we go. So, there we are. That's the new pedals done and ready to go back on the bike. Biggest difference with the Vector 3s versus the Vector 2s is you don't need to have them torqued all the way up to 40. Because that was one of the things with the Vector 2s is that you had to have a certain amount of torque in order for them to work. The Vector 2, the Vector 3s don't have that issue. So you just torque them up like any other pedal. There we go. All good to go. Pedals are all done. And that's going to be it for today's video. Short and sweet. Um, but I hope that you have found it informative. Um, if you do have the Vector 3s and you have that same issue, um, yeah, I hope you find the I hope you find the video useful for you. If you have, drop me a thumbs up. I always appreciate the support. As ever, hit that like button, smash it, tickle it, use it, don't use it, whatever you're into. Think about subscribing to the channel, and if you are, make sure you use the notification bell. Um, subscribing and using the notification bell is always the best way to find out about the live streams as well. We do kind of have a schedule at the moment, however, we're throwing in different events all the time. So the best way to find out when we're ever going to go live is to make sure you're you're liking, subscribing and following, etc, etc. But yeah, that's going to be it. Take care of yourselves and each other. Keep those hands clean. And as ever, I'll see you soon for some new videos. Right on. Shoot.